I have got um, something going on in my life at the minute which is a, a very very important thing and there's only a couple of people who actually know about it um, and I can't discuss it but my time is now rather limited this is a BMS this is the programming thing for it USB thing thing this is really a smart BMS with a Bluetooth um, a Bluetooth module it's got temperature sensors two temperature sensors one there one there and all these wires here go to the battery now this is for the the Xiaomi I'll take that off and I can take that off this is for the Xiaomi which I'm going to be using um, so as I can get uh, 12S I think it is now it's a 12S 60 amp uh, controller BMS sorry I don't know how they've managed to get 60 amps out of that little thing there um, you've got battery minus, you've got charge minus and you've got power minus there's only three connections that you actually put onto it so what I'm going to do uh, obviously this is the programmer the programming you can do through uh, Bluetooth but this goes to a PC with a very modern <laughs> USB A what it's got to do, it's got to output a certain signal to the um, the Xiaomi, the M365 so as I can keep the original display and the controller and absolutely everything with it because if you don't plug that three pin interface into the controller it throws an error, I think it's error 20 or something like that so that's the specific reason why I bought this one is because you can actually flash it and you need a USB ASP is it USB ASP? can't remember um, programmer to actually do it which I've got somewhere don't know how it's done yet but here goes I don't want to move this <laughs> it's just taken me two days to get this working so there's the controller there's the BMS and there's the voltage the cell voltages ain't right I know that um, actually it's detected 12 cells as well oh that's fantastic it's all working properly the only things are I've got things like uh, it says 7799 milliamps I've got to change that because it's a 15 uh, 16 ampere hours now so I've got to change that but oh god it's working finally it's working and there's the two batteries there's the BMS okay I've got to change the firmware on there I don't like that and also I need to change the maximum battery voltage to suit that because that is coming up at one bar so that's two things I've got to get done um, apart from that we're working well I can't really show you a lot apart from a bloody mess uh, I've lined all the inside of the, the battery compartment with um, neoprene, that was the one. Uh, I've 3D printed this extension piece because the batteries don't fit fully in that, so that'll cover that. So I'm going to put the batteries in now and show you how it looks. Right, it's shoehorned in. <laughs> it is so tight in there. absolutely borderline the BMS fits on there perfectly that's fine the battery as you can see is lovely and lined up slightly below the surface so as when I come to squeeze this one on it'll fit perfectly I hope it will fit perfectly <laughs> although it don't look perfect uh, it serves a purpose <laughs> And it's doing very well actually. The clearance is still you know, about four inches. It's just gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. 